Hi, you're watching Sci-Fi and welcome to this next video in which I'm going to be looking at the pentatonic scale. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at four variations of playing the pentatonic scale for beginners like me. Um, and it's just a way of breaking the monotony. So I'm going to be back with all of that in this video in just a moment. <music> You're watching my six string journey and in this channel I am documenting my journey learning to play the electric guitar, my highs, my lows, reviews of my lessons, reviews of my gear, just about everything to do with this journey. And in this video I just want to take some time out to talk about what I'm doing with the pentatonic scale. Because I started off just with the straight boring pentatonic scale, the one that I refer to as a single beat A minor pentatonic. And I have recently been introduced to a slightly different way of playing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of the four exercises one at a time in this video, just introduce them to you. And as usual, I will be including the music and tab sheet, which I will make available via my Patreon page. Normally when I'm practicing the pentatonic scale I do it with the metronome running um, but I'm actually going to leave that off for this video just because it applies additional pressure and I would rather have something that's uh, a little bit cleaner. So as I said there are four exercises that I am tending to do. Um, the first is the single beat A minor pentatonic which is very straightforward. It starts off on the sixth string on the fifth fret, and then you play the eighth fret, down to the fifth string, fifth fret, and then the seventh fret. And you follow that pattern all the way through, five, seven, five, seven, until you get to the second string, in which case it is then five, eight and then on the first string again five eight and then we reverse that so we go eight five eight five seven five seven five seven five eight five across all of the six strings on the neck nice and easy so what we're trying to do is with this is just to build strength and dexterity in my hand and I'm looking to try and get up to 160 beats per minute. So I have two ways of practicing this one. One, I practice slowly. And when I practice it slowly like that, I'm looking to try and get best finger position. So get my fingers up behind the frets, using the tips of my fingers, in particular with my little finger, because it is still lazy. Now I still play it flat. Um, but I'm trying to get the, the, the finger position as good as possible. And then playing those same notes will then take it up to we try and get the speed up towards that 160 that Michael's looking for.
So getting there, um, a little bit buzzy on the little finger when I'm trying to play it, play it more quickly. Um, but those are the two ways that I'm practicing that particular pentatonic scale. Now, when I was learning this originally, Michael introduced me to the blues version of the pentatonic scale, which introduces a flat note. And we start off in exactly the same way. So fifth fret on the sixth string, followed by the eighth. But then when we come down to the fifth string, we're going to play the fifth, sixth, and seventh string. Then we go back to the fifth and the seventh on the fourth string. And then on the third string, we're playing five, six, seven, and then we finish up with five, eight, five, eight on the second and first string. And then we reverse that all the way through. So let me just take you through that more slowly. So it just gives that extra little note in there, which gives it a little bit of variance. And you should be playing with a bit more of a swing. Um, at the moment, I'm still just trying to run up and down. So if I try and play that a little bit quicker, it starts to go a little bit wrong, but here we go. Still a bit buzzy on my little finger. I need to bring that over. And I need to think of also about bringing my thumb across so it's more in line with my middle finger. I tend to have it further up, which then uh, messes up the, the stretch. But that's the blues version of this particular scale. And so I'm using those to play slowly for precision and then more quickly um, for obviously building up the speed. They tend to be the, the two ways that I'm playing those. Now, it can be very monotonous just running up and down the neck, minute after minute, hour after hour. Um, and there is a lady called Michelle that follows me. She is a music teacher. She's subscribed to my channel and she follows and comments on most of my videos, of which I'm really grateful for. And she sent me a link to one of her videos and I will link to that video below where she is mixing it up a little bit. And I've only just started to work through these. So you're gonna to have to bear with me um, because these are super, super, super ropey. Um, but they basically give you one bar running up. You then move your fingers and one bar running down. Let me just try this for you. So that's the first one that she classes as the rock. Now I'll take you through that slowly. Uh, and I apologize again, I'm extremely ropey because I've literally only just started doing these. But we're looking at, on the sixth string, five, eight. On the fifth string, we're looking at five, seven. And we're playing that as quavers. So one and two and. So one and two and and then on the fourth string we're then playing the fifth fret for one beat and then the seventh fret for one beat 
So we're looking at um, one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. And then instead of continuing to run down the neck, and this is where it gets interesting, we then have to switch and we are playing on the first string, the fifth fret. Then on the second string, we are playing the eighth fret and the fifth fret. Then we come down on the third string, sorry, the third string, we are playing the seventh and the fifth. And then finally, we're just playing on the fourth string, the seventh fret. So let me just take you through that again. So five, eight, five, seven, five, seven. But we've got to play it with that same rhythm. It's one and two and three, four. So let's try that. One, uh, one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and one and two and three, four. Now one of the things I'm constantly doing with this is I'm playing the the five and the eight on the high E string on the first string, and you don't because my fingers are conditioned with the normal what I call the standard pentatonic. I'm conditioning my fingers in that manner. Now you've got to think that this is slightly different. So it's string one, string two, string three, string four. And the other thing that's really nice about this is we're now jumping across the neck, which means that we're moving the strings. So rather than just going up and down the strings, we've now working not only on the technique of moving our fingers around on the fretting board, we're also now looking at moving our um, strumming hand, our picking hand in this instance, rather than strumming the picking hand, moving down to pick up that high E string. So let me just take you through that. I'm going to try and play this, not quickly, but I'm going to try and play this rock version um, right the way through a couple of times. That's something I'm doing all the time. I'm catching the second string and not the first string. So again, it's as good for the muscle memory of finding the, the correct strings. Because I don't tend to play with one finger on the body like a lot of people do. Uh, Michael's moved me away from that, so it makes the strumming easier. And that has definitely, definitely helped when I'm strumming now. If I'm strumming, say, a D chord, then I can come straight in most of the time straight away on that fourth string rather than having a memory and then it just makes it very difficult to strum so I'm, I'm quite pleased that we went that route um, but it does mean I tend to pick out the for some reason the fifth string something I've got to work on so let's just try that again So that's the rock version. And now there is another version that Michelle sent to me, which she refers to as the A minor blues, which has got a modulation change in it, which is all a bit beyond me, and I need to look that up. Um, but basically what we're doing now is we're just changing the rhythm of the first four notes. So instead of one and two and three, four, and it's easier if I clap that. So instead of Uh, 
we now introduce this modulation, which means that we're playing the four notes over the two beats, but we hang on the first and the third, and we curtail the second and the fourth, if you get what I mean. So it's a little bit like this. I think, I think that's how it works. Um, I have to keep referring back to her video and I will make sure that I put her video in the description because she plays both of these at full speed and they're brilliant. Uh, but she plays them at full speed far, far, far faster than I am. Um, so I would urge you to go and have a look at her video and see how she's doing it. But let's have a go at that. And this one, you thought the last one was ropey. This one's even worse. I've literally started playing this one this morning. So a lazy finger again, lazy little finger buzzing. Um, starting to annoy me, That's something I've really got to work on. But you can see you get more of a swing, more of a bluesy swing in that particular pentatonic. So what I'm doing to sum up is the four different types of pentatonic. I'm playing the straight single beat A minor for both precision and for speed. I then jazz it up a little bit by, that's a bad choice of words, isn't it, jazz when we're playing blues, but um, I'm mixing it up a little bit by playing the blues version by dropping in that flat note. And then, yes, just the last few days, I've started to work on Michelle's rock and the blues one where I'm jumping around. So I would urge you to go and have a look at her video in which you play in which she's playing it properly, but that is four different ways of playing the pentatonic scale. Makes it a little bit more interesting. It certainly breaks the monotony. And as before, I will make the music and the tab diagrams available to you via my Patreon page. So please check that out. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video coming very soon. Take care. Bye bye.